and breathing in and breathing out, focusing on the breath. The Samavriti breath, where the inhale and the exhale are the same length with a pause at the top of the inhale and a pause at the bottom of the exhale. So using your mind to shape your breath, just go ahead and sort the breath by counting the length of your inhale, pausing, and counting the length of the exhale, pausing, and making sure that they're the same lengths, concentrating on your breath, shifting your breath into a segmented breath, breathing in, pausing, breathing out, pausing, breathing in, pausing, breathing out, pausing. And while you're breathing, just notice what you notice, straightening your spine, getting nice and balanced on your sits bones, uncrossing legs and arms, and continuing to breathe, drawing that chi force, that life force, through the body, opening up the meridians, opening up all the channels in the body, and bringing in fresh, new energy for this moment. And you can visualize surrounding your body in a container of light below the feet, above the head, in front of the body, behind the body, to the right and the left. So you imagine this container of light, visualize it, Imagine it, actualize it, realize it, making this real for you. And that container is about four feet outside of the edges of your body, up, down, all around. And you're containing your energy field, your aura, your physical body and your subtle bodies in the container of light. Every time you make a commitment to do this, you're bringing yourself back more to your own center. You're bringing the parts of the self that get scattered out there and pulled in different directions back to center with the breath. And even if we practice this only for 20 minutes a day, we're giving ourselves um, a strengthening for that inner core self, for that ability to be present in the moment. Breathing in, breathing out. And from that space, fully present in the moment, bringing all the parts of the self back to center, noticing what you notice, you begin to be able to sort of strengthen your energy, make it more solid, and therefore what you magnetize towards you becomes more in alignment with your own desires. Breathing in, Conscious desires, conscious breathing is a commitment to conscious awareness, to conscious mindfulness, to conscious living. Breathing in, breathing out. And we like to start out during this year, um, every time we come together in a group, by repeating our invocation for 2024, which is fully present in the moment with this mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware I am awake. I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am fully present. Breathing out, I am fully present. And we like to do it three times to really just let it sink in. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware, I am awake. I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness. Breathing in, I am fully present. Breathing out, I am fully present. Breathing in, I am present. Breathing out, I release the past. Breathing in, 
I am present, breathing out, I let go of worrying about the future. I am aware, I am awake, I am fully present in this moment, practicing mindful awareness, breathing in, I am fully present, breathing out, I am fully present. And taking a nice deep breath, just go ahead and stretch your arms up above your head, reaching up to the sky, reaching up to spirit, opening up in funnel pose so that your arms are a little bit wider than your shoulders and you're just taking a moment with your arms stretched up and your spine straight to just ask spirit to bring greater light, greater support, greater energy, whatever you need into your system, breathing in breathing out. With that nice straight spine now, we bring our attention to our chakras, these energy centers in the body, the seven main ones we're looking at, plus a lot of times we look at the two at the bottom of the center of our feet, so maybe nine all together, but the seven main Vedic chakras that are along the spinal cord from the tailbone pelvis area all the way to the crown, the top of the head. Red, orange, yellow, green in the center of the chest, blue, indigo, and violet at the crown, violet to white light. So breathing in and out, just allowing yourselves to let your consciousness move through the areas where your chakras live in the body, making contact and getting ready for our exercise with a nice straight spine, focusing on the red chakra at the tailbone, pelvic area root, down the legs to the chakras at the bottom of your feet, which are in the sort of center at the bottom of the feet there, like around the arch area. And as you're breathing in and out, you can wiggle the toes and move the ankles around and taking a nice deep breath in, imagining you're touching connection, making connection with the new healed whole Mother Earth and pulling that red energy up through the body, your vitality, grounding you, helping you feel safe in your body in this moment. Breathing in, safe and grounded, breathing out. The exercise to wake up that chakra, to get it vibing to the perfect frequency for you, to help you stay grounded and balanced and safe on the earth, is a low-toned ohm. That is our exercise where we imagine it moving. And then the one syllable Sanskrit mantra that actually goes with it is Lam. So try that. Lam, Lam. Breathing in and visualizing the red, the low toned ohm. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll run through it two times with Lam at the end of each exercise ohm. Ready? Om 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 And breathing in and breathing out, just bringing that energy around into the body, feeling yourself really grounded. You can move around on your sits bones for a minute, again, roll your feet, and taking a nice deep breath, we'll move up to the orange chakra, the navel area, uh, lower back there, hip to hip, kidney to kidney. Visualizing that orange color, making it real for you and breathing it into the body, breathing into that area, thinking of orange in nature. Very creative chakra, your inner child, um, your creativity connects with the gonads, so sexual center, breathing in, breathing out. It's a medium tone ohm for the exercise of that chakra. And the one syllable Sanskrit mantra is Vam with a V. Um.
Keeping the spine straight and sitting tall, breathing in and out, really using your voice to send that vibration, that sound resonance through your body with that perfect mantra for the area, the energy area of the chakra that you're connecting to. Remember, these um, chakras are the distributors, the distributors of the chi force, the life force throughout your system. So it's really good for your organs, it's good for your um, subtle bodies, chakra attunement, using sound in your body in a very constructive way to keep things flowing, to loosen up any blocks. Very good for you. So breathing in and out. Nice deep breath. Lift up your chest area. Let the diaphragm and the lungs kind of pull you up, opening up the solar plexus area personal power. This is the yellow chakra and this one is above the navel like depending on your body type inch and a half to two inches maybe and um, comes right up there under the edge of your breastbone and kind of spreads out and wraps around the body includes your adrenals, your pancreas, lots of organs up there. So imagining this sun just rising and the yellow just filling your solar plexus chakra feeling expansion feeling good breathing in it's a higher toned ohm for our exercise and then we go ahead and um, chant ram like ram with the m at the end so ram breathing in higher toned ohm to move the chakra Om Ram Ram Om Ram So these are your first three chakras, the red, the orange, the yellow. These are the foundational chakras that are you interactive with the earth, with your everyday life, with feeling supported and comfortable here on the earth? These are the chakras that connect to your personal relationships um, with each other, with family, with friends, with the people in your everyday life. And the third chakra that connects you to your sense of movement in the world, how you move in the world, where your confidence is, where your personal power is. And so these first three are bridged to the top three chakras, the blue, the indigo, and the violet, by the green chakra in the center of your chest. Ah, that's our exercise sound. Go ahead, breathe in. Ah, yum. Ah, yum, yum, yum. Ah, is the exercise. Yum is the one syllable Sanskrit mantra that goes with the heart chakra. Green in the center of your chest, the divine feminine, the empress on the throne. Breathing in and feeling the heart chakra opening. You can visualize someone you love deeply and just kind of feel that sense of softness coming in and openness. Ah, yum. And then kind of extend that out to those things that maybe irritate you a little bit and those people. Ah, yum, yum. Ah, yum. Hands in Anjali Mudra, prayer pose in front of the heart or lay your hands on the heart if you need a little love. You can rub counterclockwise. Ah, yum, yum. Ah, yum, yum, yum. Breathing in and breathing out, feeling that heart warm and open up, <clears throat> reaching down to the lower chakra, spreading up towards the throat, the blue chakra. Hum, hum. We use the lion breath to um, get this sound exercise out. It's hum. 
A lion breath, your chin, sorry, your tongue comes out to your chin, your paws flare up. Hum! 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 And you really get your diaphragm and your belly moving to push that energy out. I like to think of the blue sky and just plopped on my back on the earth, relaxing, supported by the earth, looking up at that vast blue sky, feeling the expansive energy. Hum! Hum! One syllable Sanskrit mantra for the throat chakra is also hum, but we chant it. Hum! 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 And as you practice the sound, really let yourself feel it vibrating through your body, your teeth, your jaws, all the way up and down the main line of the chakras. Hum, hum. Opening up that throat to express more fully from the heart. Hum. And breathing in, imagine you're looking up now at the twilight sky. This is the um, sixth chakra. This is the indigo chakra. This is the third eye and the place in our reality where we can start to see the bigger picture. We can start to look at things in wholeness instead of separation. Breathing in, breathing out feeling the presence of energy in that third eye. You can close your physical eyes and just let yourself kind of connect to the third eye energy. Bring the palms up and open them to receive. I'm going to get to the third eye. I really like to practice a little gratitude, visualizing all my teachers and all the things in life that help me um, grow, that help me open up, that help me become a little tiny bit closer to enlightenment, breathing in, and sometimes there are little difficult things, you know, opportunities to be patient, opportunities to be generous with our thinking and allowing of other people to be themselves, breathing in and out, those palms are open, feeling that gratitude. It's a high-pitched that opens up and vibrates that chakra, and then the one syllable Sanskrit mantra is... Um, Sham, sham. Sham, sham, sham. Sham. Sham, sham. Breathing in, breathing out. And drawing the breath in, coming up to the crown chakra at the top of the skull, the top of the head. Feeling that violet amethyst energy, spreading it up to white light. The palms are open. The exercise is wah, and it goes from low to high, like wah, wah, wah. And when you get to the highest note that you can, just let it just kind of drift out into the ethers, keeping the palms open, allowing yourself to receive the shower of light into your container of light that comes back from the universe to support you, to remember and remind you that you're connected Breathing in and out. Ready? Amethyst to white light. The one syllable Sanskrit mantra that goes with the crown chakra is Om. So we kind of end like we began with the Om. 
And we like to do sometimes three tones of Aum so we can, first of all, acknowledge our presence here. And then the second Aum is acknowledging all of you that are listening and joining us today. And the third is just feeling the Aum vibrate out there into the world and embrace all those who are open to receiving peace and harmony and love. Ready? Ooh. 